Yeah, I, I think I'll start out to say obviously not the outcome that we were hoping for. You know, a, a disappointing game uh, with a lot of bright moments. Um, one that certainly we could have won, uh, but as I told our team, I, don't, I really don't think we earned a victory today. Um, sometimes a close game like this comes down to a bad call or uh, from an official, and, and that wasn't the case. Sometimes it comes down to just a little bit a bad bounce or just something happened, and, and, and that wasn't the case. Uh, as crazy as the game as it was back and forth, uh, in the end it came down to our defense had an opportunity with a lead uh, to stop them after doing a great job all, you know, almost all of the entire second half. Um, and we failed to do so. And then our offense had an opportunity to drive down and win the football game. Um, and uh, as well as we played throughout most of the game offensively, we failed to do that as well. And in the fourth quarter of a hard fought football game, um, that's what it all comes down to. Championship teams are going to step up in those moments and make championship plays. And we failed to do that uh, at the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, so disappointed in that. Um, you know, going back to the first half, obviously, without question, I guess the only way to describe our defense was an embarrassment in the first half. I mean, I don't think I've ever been a part of a football game where we have failed to stop our opponent for an entire half of football. Um, it was rough. It's rough to give up a t uh, two two-minute drives in the game to a team that uh, is a triple option offense, a team now very talented offense, not taking anything away from Davidson at all. I mean, very talented. Uh, but usually a triple option teams, a two-minute drill is not their forte, and, and we gave up two of those today. Um, our defense did an incredible job of digging deep. Uh, Coach Moore changed some things up at halftime. Uh, our players competed, uh, did not quit, and I give them credit for that on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, after such a frustrating first half of football, we came out and we played for the most part uh, the way we felt like we were capable of playing the entire football game. We knew that Davidson had a talented offense, and and um, if you would have said, hey, you know, you could hold them to seven points uh, in a half of football, I'd say absolutely, I would be pleased with that. And and um, but we came up short, and, and that's that's uh, that's a tough pill to swallow. On the offensive side of the ball, we came out and played, I think, as clean a football uh, as we have all year. Uh, it was nice to see Jimmy get out there and and get in a rhythm. Um, and uh, unfortunately, as the game progressed, we just couldn't keep up that level of consistency needed to, uh, once we had our first lead of the game, to maintain and expand that lead. Um, you know, penalties hurt us. Uh, you know, unfortunately, Gene, as great of a game he played, uh, dropping the reverse was, was a play that he knows that he should have made. And, and uh, that hurt us in a drive. Uh, the turnover uh, on the one yard line. Um, we're deep in the red zone. Uh, the interception was unfortunate as well. Uh, but then again, we dug deep uh, hard with our second to last drive of the game and was able to go bas basically the length of the field. And, and Chris made an amazing play uh, to, to get us in the end zone and, and get us that lead. So uh, certainly a lot of bright spots, but um, you know, obviously very just overall disappointed in uh, today's outcome. And, uh, our football team is going to need one giant uh, gut check uh, to right this ship and uh, get ourselves a, a big win next week uh, at Dayton. Jamar, what kind of challenges does their, uh, does their running game present for your defense? Like, what, what's the, the difficulties of stopping a team like that? Trying to find who got the ball, tough blocks, getting off blocks, staying disciplined. And uh, Coach talked about some of the second half adjustments. Was it, uh, what, what were some of those adjustments that helped you guys uh, make the plays in the second half that you weren't in the first half? Just refocusing, staying focused, playing a little harder. Um, and, and then either Chris or Gene, if you guys want to talk about this, um, the offense seemed like you got rolling there in the first half. But what was what was the key for you guys offensively? Why were you able to improve the points that you did when the offense was running? Uh, <clears throat> we just came out. We knew we, we had to play a very good game. Last week we didn't play our best offensively, so we knew we had to come out and just play hard and just take advantage of every play. 
And I feel like we came out ready to play, and we, you know, it showed in the first half. Um, yeah, building off a theme that we just uh, executed a lot better this week coming out, and you know, we didn't get off to a slow start or anything. We just came out firing. It was really nice to see. Has it been? Uh, I know you guys did this a little bit last year. So is it? It's been difficulty with the playing two quarterbacks in the game. Is that something that's taking time for you to adjust to being able to, you know, sometimes run, sometimes off? Um, yeah, it's a it's a little bit of an adjustment and all that, but you just got to be ready to go whenever. And, you know, when your number's called, you got to go out there and make plays, plain and simple. Um, for for any of the players, uh, you guys had you know the big season last year, and then you had uh, you know the, all the optimism through all the workouts and everything. What's what's the biggest frustration right now to be sitting here going forward? Is there you know, where you can describe what's the most frustrating part of this? Obviously, we know we should we should be playing better as a team. We know we should be winning more games that we we haven't won any games. But we know we should at least have a one at least have one win in our belts by now. It's just hard, you know, knowing that we're so close. But whatever it is, we got to figure it out and just fix it fast. Um, with the coach, for you, how do you get from to keep 0-4 from still going into 0-5 and 0-6? What's the, the the challenge for the coach? Yeah, you know, well, 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 the challenge is, you know. And it's not something that we haven't talked to our team about. We talked about you have to go out and you have to earn your victories. You have to earn it every single day on the field, off the field, in the weight room, in the meeting rooms, watching film, uh, doing that. And, and you can't, you know, on, on days like today, you can only look at yourself. You know, we, we made a lot of plays on offense. We didn't make enough. We had a great second half of defense. And when it came down to putting the game away, we didn't do it. Um, and when it comes down to that, you know, you just you start by checking, looking at yourself. You know, as we as coaches look at ourselves and, and, and say, okay, what do we have to do, um, you know, scheme-wise and personnel-wise to put our players in better positions. Um, you know, it, it forces you uh, to examine every aspect of your program, with the exception of the the founding principles, and because you know you have a recipe for success, you know that. Um, how you're running a program, uh, the themes, uh, the, the pillars, uh, everything that this program has been about, you know, day one when we took over a team that hadn't won more than one football game in a season for over five years. So nothing has changed in that aspect. You know you have a winning formula. You know you have players that are capable of making plays. It's about getting them to maximize it so uh, they can go out there and make the plays uh, when it counts the most. Um, now there's some, you know, Injury things that can help, you know. Obviously, and uh, you know, Chris has uh, been banged up in, in terms of his knee, and, and he's gone through an up and down season. You know, at the quarterback position, Jimmy's shoulder uh, continues to kind of, you know, go come and go at times, and I know he's fighting with that uh, as well. And and having consistency, you know, I'll allude back to the beginning of this week. Uh, when we really had no idea. We had four quarterbacks that we were like, gosh, any one of these four could be starting for us come Saturday, and, it, and it's a rarity to be in that situation. So certainly on the offensive side of the ball, uh, that's been an issue. On the defensive side of the ball, Nick Turner didn't play today. He's, he's uh, you know, one of our best defensive players, and, and uh, I think we, fe we missed his presence out there on the field, and um, we've got to find a way to overcome that if he's not able to be with us for the next uh, couple of weeks. If that's certainly the case, we, we've got to uh, rise above and, and uh, we've got some young players who are getting experience and, and uh, they've got the talent to be uh, you know, as good as, as Nick. They're just not as experienced as Nick and, and not uh, quite there from, you know, in terms of the leadership that Nick provides. So, so we're overcoming things like that and, and uh, a lot of football teams are at this point in the season anyways. But, uh, uh, we'll keep plugging ahead. Uh, we'll keep competing. I think our team certainly knows it has talent, and, and uh, the wins will come if we keep plugging away and, and uh, finding ways to get better. You know, you can look at last year's uh, season as a microcosm of that as well. We, we did get a couple of wins early. We played a, a, a team in Trinity International that, that we should have beat, and we did, and, and uh, we went through some adversity early on and we were able to get better as the season went on and played some of our best football the last four weeks of the season. And we know we're capable of doing that. And uh, if we're playing at our best, we're going to be a hard football team to beat.
you mentioned Jimmy Shoulder. Um, is it is that a stamina thing now? Or like, is it hard for him to keep to be able to be 100 percent on every pass for four quarters? Or yeah, I I wish. I could tell you definitively, okay. you know, this is the first time he's had shoulder surgery and uh, we're, we're dealing with it on a day by day basis. There are days that uh, he goes out there and, and he throws um, very well. Um, other days he starts out well and, and then it fades a little bit. Um, you know, my biggest concern is, is for his health and to make sure uh, that uh, he doesn't do something long term and, and uh, he's a competitor, he wants to go out there every single snap. Um, so we're, we're doing our best uh, to just take it one day at a time and, and knowing that it is getting better, uh, slowly but surely, it, it, his arm strength is improving, his consistency is improving. Um, whether that means he's gonna be 100% a week from now or a month from now, um, I don't know. So we'll just take it one day at a time.